Hey guys, Computer Rose is here, and welcome to one of four Let's Play previews. And uh, to start off this little preview thing, I'm gonna start off with a game that originally I was gonna do with my cousins, and oh, oh geez, I did not plug in the microphone, did I? Well, <laughs> and by I mean microphone, I mean the GameCube microphone. Well, because this is a Let's Play preview of Odama. Now, of course, while I'm trying to connect the microphone and getting the memory card set up, because when I started this little preview thing, just a little side story right there, I was not prepared. Okay, it's like, it's like, like midnight, and I'm like, oh yeah, I, I need to get started on this because because I basically have less than 24 hours to upload this preview, and and just. It, it just got worse and worse from there. Well, at least, at least I get it connected. Okay, I got I got it all connected. got it all sorted out. And out, and out. So I'm perfectly fine with it. Well, in the meantime, I just let this play out here. As you can clearly see, this is the little story of how it went. But as much as I, I really like this game... The story, it's not something that I actually fully remember. Remember. And I, I know that this story, it, it's not, it does not involve any other history. This isn't like Dynasty Warriors or Samurai Warriors where they, where, where like some of the battles are actually based on actual battles and some of the characters are based on actual generals and, and feudal lords and all that. That, no, no, this is pure fictional, fictional. And the way they use the word Nintendo, you know, which you, you'll notice in this, it's just perfect. Just to, it, it, it was just woven so well on this. This it, it, it's just unbelievable. Um, but of course, um, <laughs> sort of a little uh, let's play previews here. I actually do have stuff written down of what I want to talk about with this whole preview series because the whole point of these previews is just to show what LPs I'm going to do later or sooner depending on if you actually want to see an LP of this game but of course I need to give more backstory before I say hey do you want to do an LP of this game and meanwhile most of you are like wait Odama I, I never heard this game before really that I, I never heard this game before like oh that game yeah don't know that much but you know, um, but this this is a let's play preview, okay? Okay, I'm here to introduce you to the game of Odama. So, um, let me just sum it up to you the best way I think of it can. Most of you have played pinball, right? You know, with the flippers and the ball and the, and the multiplier and all that. That you've been to your to like an arcade or or at a at like a, a restaurant or something like that. Maybe even a maybe even a, a Mexican uh, fast food joint, <laughs> right? Uh, but anyway, basically, basically you take that part. Now uh, take the RTS function, uh, and by RTS I mean I mean uh, like Starcraftish, where where you get to command a whole bunch of people, make them go somewhere, make them attack. Uh, uh, not not so much of the whole reconstruction of like of like your bases to make sure that you can get more enemies and get more supplies. I mean, psst, get more enemies. I never played an RTS in my life. I mean, get get more get more allies, get more get more men, uh, get more supplies, and you know, all that. But script that that you just have your men right here and and take that take that RTS pot. And combine it with pinball, and you basically have Odama, the general sense. Now, uh, before I even start doing the little preview thing, um, I'm I'm just checking out just in the mic, and uh, you'll notice how I'm just fluctuating up and on. Um, well, <laughs> and this this is actually kind of funny, and I don't know if I'll probably do that in the actual LP, but I actually do create a freestyle rap using the commands. That the mic that the microphone is used for, because because the microphone is used to control your control your men. You give them specific uh, specific uh, uh, different commands, ranging from advance, 
to march left, march right, it's disco time! <clears throat> sorry, sorry, I just couldn't help myself with that reference. To the two commands that I'm basically going to be using for the majority of this LP, which is pe press forward and rally. Now, uh, before I go even further into this, I'm just going to show you off that these are all the levels. And fun fact, fact about the instruction booklet, the instruction booklet, I, I, I might even show it in a, in a separate bonus video uh, if this LP ever does get through, is that the instruction booklet tells you exactly how to beat each level, each level, or it, it gives you a general sense of how to beat it, beat it. But a sort of a little plot twist. Most of the victories are indeed by chance. I hate to say it, it it's just by chance. Uh, there is strategy to it, but but even if you use a specific strategy, that doesn't mean it will actually work. And so, and so of course, instead of like spoiling some other ones, I'm just gonna start with the base at the first level. level. Which you know, it's it seems pretty simple. You have you have your guys, which are in red. You have the enemy, which are in gray or blue or something along those lines. Lines. I I I, I, I want to point out the art style because the art style is just style. It, it, it's actually pretty awesome, and and um, and the whole. The the whole atmosphere of the game feels really awesome, and also the fact that that uh, that the majority of the music, because the rhythm of the music, is just them chanting, chanting as they're marching on, and the whole objective of this, if you haven't already realized from the prologue, is to bring your Nintendo Bell, Bell, <laughs> play on words, to that, to that. A gate area, you know, just force your way there. While, while of course the enemy is trying to force you to like push back. <laughs> ah, yes. Now, um, now of course, of course, I, I know I'm talking over the guy who's who I who I, I appreciate him speaking Japanese, and, and I'm sorry that I'm I'm speaking over him. Of course, there's like little things in it, and. Already we've already begun, but there's still more I need to talk about on this situation here. Here. Basically, basically, yeah, the, the whole point is just to go over there. That is the main objective. Now, uh, later on in, in Pacific Levels, there are multiple ways of getting the Nintendo Bell to the other side. There's like alternate routes. routes. But through this LP, I'm mostly just going to be going through the main route, like the main way to go. Because the other routes... Roots, they take a little bit more advanced cunningness, I guess. But you know, whatever. Um, but I, I'm basically gonna be jumping back and forth on this. Um, now, now of course, there's only three ways in which like a stage could end. Well, besides the besides getting the ten bell to the other side. The other one is you lose all your own, use all your damas, which are basic, which is basically like the giant ball that you're basically controlling, controlling with your giant flippers. Death. It's a ball of death, which will basically can kill anyone and basically alters the playing field. And clearly, I'm just tilting, tilting left and right on this, like this, uh, for all over the place, um, uh, and. You know, sorry, sorry. I'm trying my very best, trying to time it with what's going on with this, but it, it's kind of difficult on it. Now, uh, now, the one thing I want to talk about on the bottom of the screen is the morality. But as you notice that it's like decreasing and, and also increasing by deploying more people. And of course, it's decreasing by the fact that the Odama basically can kill, kill both friend and foe. So... If you're killing your allies, they start to distrust you. And the whole morality thing is all based upon the microphone. Since the microphone, you're giving them commands while you're controlling your pinball-esque uh, thing. thing. Which, I want to alliterate on why this originally is going to be done with my cousins on this. It was because um, two summers ago, all the way back in 2010, that's the last time I played this game, game in its entirety. Um... 
basically we did a little tag team right there and oh I, I just killed off the cavalry right there I'll, I'll talk about the cavalry later since they come back later but basically uh, my cousins they um, they they took control of the microphone they were giving a command because I am I am a really good pinball player like really good pinball player and I don't mean like good at, at electronic pinball basically anyone can be good at electronic pinball I mean, I played Pokemon Pinball Ruby Sapphire and collected every single Pokemon there, but you don't see me gloating on that. That the fact that it only took me 10 games per Ruby and Sapphire in order to get them all. I'm not gloating on that. I really am, because basically that's electronic pinball. Anyone can be good at that. No, no, I'm talking about the hardcore pinball, like playing Indiana Jones, and Back to the Future, and Alien, and Mario. Yeah, that's right. Mario. Yeah, because, yeah. If you didn't know there was a Mario pinball, that that doesn't surprise me anyway. And oh my gosh, we're running out of time. Oh my gosh, get the hourglass because there's power outside there. And oh, I just lost the ball, or at least from my angle, I lost the ball. I don't even know if this is even in sync or not. And there's still more things to talk about. Like for instance, the Calvary, which if they make it to the flippers, they disable you. And even though your little guy that's near the flippers is trying your very best to, you know, defend it, he can't really defend against people on horses. He's that weak. But at least he, at least he can kill off other enemies. At least, um, I know I'm running out of time here, but you notice how the ball went green and I started like collecting men. And they were coming to the side. Yeah, that's basically your good old Dama. Later on, you'll see when when it becomes a super battle Dama. When the tables are turned, it's not pretty at all. Another thing, uh, I just shot off a rice ball, and basically, rice balls not only are they good for making the enemy distracted, but also good for increasing your morale. Since you need your morale up in order to make sure that you basically can make it. And I just increased the time, and the Odama just came green, green, and time to get more men. And then I will summon those men back in order to increase morale because that's just that's just my strategy on that um but but basically the like like I said um I think I said this before but the but all the stages are basically just one gigantic gamble like you just hope that you basically have enough men so that we have enough morale to move your move your Nintendo Bell to the edge of it Hopefully before sundown, because by sundown they're completely useless or they lose all purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Which whatever. And as you can clearly see, the the cavalry had just disabled it, and I'm trying my very best not to get the ball stuck to it. But you know what? I'm gonna play and look at right there. The ten balls going in, and any any um. Any um, any soldier, rather their friend or foe, they go through there. They become your soldiers, straight up. They become your soldiers for the next battle. Unfortunately, with the morale being that low, I'm going to need to bring out some soldiers out in order to make sure that the morality is in the blue, so that way the commands come in much more smoothly. Because even though I can make commands in yellow and then sometimes make commands in red. Like I said, the lower the morality, the the harder it is to control your troops, and they start losing trust in you. Like, yeah, right. Which also, if you say something, say something, uh, like anything, and they'll they'll tell you less. Like, what? Like, speak up. We can't hear you. Like, is it there's some sort of spiritual connection? Um. So, yeah. So overall, overall, you either hate this game or you'll love this game. And during the LP, I will talk about specific stories like how how I got my best friend Ryan, aka the Coes, aka Hieroglyph, to literally no not technically rage quit, but just just give up on this game. And some other stories as well. But that's only if you want me to do an LP of this game. Name. If you want to have it as soon as possible, then I'll do it alone. Otherwise, uh, this has been Computer Houses, and this has been a good